Welcome back to Sports Edge. We like to bring in coaches of successful teams. You're not going to find a more successful team right now than Yale Lacrosse. Coach Andy Shea joining us. Thanks for coming in, Coach. Well, thanks for having me. All right, so you guys off to a 5-0 and start. What's been the secret of your success? Best start at Yale uh, Lacrosse since 1990? Well, I mean, it's, it's, uh, we have great kids. Uh, I have a great staff. My staff of uh, Graham Neemi has been with, with me the whole time. Andrew Baxter and Andrew Stimmel do a phenomenal job. And, um, you know, the kids are are receptive to everything. They're tough. They care. Uh, and it just it kind of works. You know what I find the mark of a really good team, and look, you're five games into a 13-game schedule, but what I find the mark of a really good team is when you win the close games. Right. And you guys have been winning a lot of close games. Yeah, and, you know, I, I think that's uh, – Hopefully we can keep that going. Um, I think some of our alums don't want them to be as close as they are. But <laughs> it's good for the heart, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody, out, everyone in Division Lacrosse is good, so um, you, you expect it to be a dogfight no matter what. And you say everyone in, in, in Division One Lacrosse is good. You're in one of the toughest leagues you can play in, right? You're Absolutely. Just stacked. Absolutely. There's, I guess, five or six ranked teams in our league, um, so it's 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 very difficult. Uh, week in, week out. You guys have Cornell coming up. That's the next game on your schedule to try to keep this undefeated start going. That's never easy playing that team. No, I mean, we haven't had a ton of success against them, but, you know, we try and keep it in perspective. It's one Ivy League game, and, and with our Ivy League tournament, we've, we've been able to, um, if we drop this game, to kind of regroup, and we've made the Ivy League tournament uh, each year in its existence for five years. And um, so for us, it's not like, it's not like uh, do or die. It's another game in a season of big games. I want to talk to you about a game you played earlier this year because we're watching it here going, right. what are they doing? You guys playing St. John's. And it started well enough, and then yep. the snow started coming down. You could barely even see I, a white ball in the snow. How do you even see it? Well, it's a good thing that their, <laughs> their coach actually went to, the, to Lacrosse Unlimited earlier today to get orange balls uh, in, in the event that would happen. So I didn't, know, I didn't think it would. Yeah. Um, I think our kids are known for our brains, but their coaches probably aren't. So we, we finished it, <laughs> got the game in, and... I uh, got out of there with a win. Yeah, you, well, it was a crazy end to it, too, right? You guys ended yeah, up winning. Yeah, I mean, they, we, we went to overtime, and they, they scored with a few seconds left, and we got it in overtime and won the faceoff um, and scored on a fast break. So, When you start the season as well as you guys have, is there a momentum that builds? Is there pressure that hits you? What, is, there, is the locker room any different than it has been in the past? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, we haven't really been – we've never really been in this position. We've always had to defend, like, a top 15 – 13 to 17 ranking and right. and what we're finding is that you know while, while we don't like to look at the rankings we know that our opponent always does so now we kind of have to defend this number six ranking it's great for alums it's great for recruiting it's great for the community if if they are fans it's awful for coaches and teams if you have to kind of defend it because you've got the bullseye on you so um, we're just taking it one game at a time if we can if we can win this one it'd be huge just to win the game um, it's uh, we'd like to think it's immaterial about the rankings but uh, like I said, we know Cornell comes in ranked lower than us for the first time in my career. Uh, we know that they look at it as this is a notch in their belt if they can get it. You guys have such a wonderful spot over there for lacrosse. I mean, it's, it's the it's, best stadium in lacrosse. It's a beautiful stadium. Absolutely. And um, you know, we want people to come out this, this Saturday to check it out. Well, and you and it's really this is a top level. This is really as good as it gets in collegiate lacrosse. I, I'd like to think so. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a it's a pretty uh, cheap. Cheap uh, day of entertainment. It's pretty awesome, I think. It's a lot of fun. Have you seen this sport growing? I, I know. Exponentially. I, it's, it's like every kid now is, is walking well, around it's, with lacrosse. It's, just, it's such an addicting sport. It's physical. It's fast. It's fun. Uh, there's not a lot of instant gratification. It's, it's tricky to be able to, to, to develop the skills. But once you do, what you'll find is it just, it's, it's a lifelong addiction. And that's, it's a lot like golf, except it's very, it's very physical. And, it, and, and uh, I think kids gravitate towards it because... They're constantly playing. Um, you're always around the action. You're not waiting for something to happen. Well, there will be plenty of action on Saturday. You guys taking on Cornell, trying to keep that record perfect. Best of luck to you. Best of luck the rest of the way through, and congratulations on, uh, on the great start. Number six in the country right now. Love to see it. Uh, thank you for coming in.